The gold of Malta, uh, this is not the gold we are thinking about as usual. The gold can be inside the people in their activities, their preference, their, their art craft. And um, I had this idea because some Maltese lace makers are not really conscious of what they are producing as art. L'arti ti sta servita a documentazioni ta snaia ta paisna. Ftine rokna in la aukomma Martin li t'kelmet mana tu arki flarti ti sta t'inquadra s-sena tal-pizzilla. For example, when I was a child, I had the opportunity to go to Normandy and uh, I visited a fine art museum where they were exhibiting some lace. I discovered that for making one centimeter of lace, it could take six to seven hours. And when I came in Malta, some years after I was an adult, I came as a tourist, I had the possibility to go to Gozo and in a small courtyard, there was a woman who was using her hands around uh, a lace pillow against a wall. She was sitting and there was the silence, but only the noise of the bobbins moving, you know. I discovered that there was a training of lace making. I asked them if they could allow me to sketch them. So during the time of the COVID, I was as a witness sketching them and I made around 125 sketches of all these women. And slowly, slowly I managed to produce about 25 or 30 canvases and this is the result uh, for this exhibition. It is an art nearly lost. But I was very amazed at the opening of the exhibition, even some days after, I had the visit of some old lace maker and one of them cried. She cried because she told me, like that we will not be forgotten, you know? Because she worked all her life making lace, then after she stopped and many others stopped and the new generation was not really interested in it because it takes time. And we are in 2022 with a lot of technology and everything has to be in a few seconds. That was only what I wanted uh, in a way, you know, that this art has not to be forgotten. And I hope next generation will revive it again and uh, make it uh, update uh, for everyone.